In this lesson, we'll review a vocabulary in context problem. It's part of the critical reading section. We're on page 793, question 16. Even though this is early in the section, it's a difficult problem. We know we don't have the progressive level of difficulty on the reading passage questions. So if you read the italics here, the passage is on 792. We know it is a fictional passage because right away we see it is from a novel. So keep in mind, with a fiction passage, the long fiction passage, there's only one on the test, you have to read it in its entirety because there's dialogue, there's usually people with lots of emotions, and uh, in this case, there, there were a lot of emotions because this is um, really between two characters here, Henry Mulcahy, he's an instructor who was taught at Jocelyn College, and he considers himself very intellectual, and he's openly sparred with the president and he has just found out that he has been fired in a letter and so he he really is getting emotional and that's what i mean with these fictional passages it's really a series of events unwinding and this is a tough passage but we're going to focus just on this question and it's a vocab and context problem in line 60 what does the word flatly mean and if you follow the lessons i've always told you that Vocab and context questions, the word flatly has a primary meaning that you normally think of without any context, and that's never going to be the definition. It's always sort of a secondary definition, so you have to glean, engage in context. So this, I've reproduced it here with line 59, so he's sort of going through you know, all these emotions after he's learned in the letter that he's been fired. So in line 59, he had not known in short that the president disliked him so flatly. We want to know what flatly means in this context. So if you've read the rest of the passage, we know the flatly meaning that he knew there was some contention between them. They, were, they, they openly had debated. He knew that they weren't getting along, but disliked him so flatly. Now we know it's not going to be evenly. Um, it really doesn't make sense there. But that's sort of, I guess, the primary meaning. But if you try to predict, these are like the sentence completions. Flatly means like just absolutely without any qualification. So let's look at the choices and we'll build, build some vocab. So we know it's not evenly. That would, I guess, flatly without any context. And taut, like a taut rope is very tight. And with emotions, if someone is taut, they're mentally or emotionally strained or, or very tense but again that is not flatly we want a word like completely or absolutely shallow is the opposite shallow is words like superficial without depth so that's not the answer another by the way the opposite of superficial is profound and i've seen the word the noun for profound on the test and that's profundity to have depth or but here it's superficial that doesn't work either and then we've got a couple of tougher words we've got unemphatically now emphatic we've had this word before it comes from the word emphasis now if we just had emphatically that could work like he emphasis he disliked him with such emphasis that maybe could work but this is un emphatically so without emphasis again that really doesn't make cho make sense and the answer here is e Equivocally, to equivocate, this is a very common SAT word, to equivocate has nothing to do with the word equal. I know students see that, that root there, they think maybe it's a quality, nothing to do with that. Equivocate means to be ambiguous, to sort of intentionally mislead. But if something is unequivocal, it is absolutely without any qualification. So if there is an, it's in, like an, an unequivocal fact, is incontrovertible. It can't be disputed or debated. It is absolute. It is complete. It is flat in this context. So again, vocab really plays a role, and I know this is a tough question, so keep building vocab. The answer here is E. See you next time. Thanks for watching.